Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Market Insider TV on a Thursday morning. It is May the 9th. Brian Hoops here with Midwest Market Solutions. This is our opening segment. Well, we are sharply lower overnight, um, unfortunately, and I know there are a lot of producers I talked with this morning already talking about additional rains falling overnight and slowing um, their progress even further. So preventing planning will be definitely an option that will be chosen this year. Uh, unfortunately, if you're in that area that uh, you're not be able to plant uh, any crops, it's uh, going to be a struggle for this uh, the year, especially when prices are falling here. Stock market down sharply overnight, crude oil weakening as well. Um, as of midnight tonight, tariffs, additional tariffs will go into effect against uh, China. Corn down five cents overnight, beans off eight cents and the wheat four to five and a half cents weaker well what's going on let's take a look at uh, everything that is uh, happening here in our uh, markets weekly export sales came out this morning uh, 18.4 million bushels for wheat that's uh, combining old crop and new crop marking years and not a great number for wheat we need to be m well above that if we're going to reach the USDA forecast Corn had only 11.6 million, a dismal number here. Soybeans, we had a reduction of old crop of 5.5 million bushels and 10.9 for new crop sales. So needless to say, these are some negative numbers for exports. But private sale announcements this morning, first ones this week, 107,000 metric tons of corn to Colombia and 369,000 beans to an unknown destination. The corn sale is old crop and 300,000 of the soybean sale is old crop as well with 69,000 for new crops so um, hopefully this stems a little bit of the loss it takes a little bit of the sting away um, from the weekly export sales but again main focus is turning towards weather and, and weather uh, right now appears to be improving in a lot of areas uh, by next week we should see the best planting week best open planting week of the entire season. So I know we're seeing lower prices in here. A lot of people are struggling with uh, delays, but market uh, perspective, if we can get corn planted by the 31st of, of May, uh, we will see minor yield losses, but not significant enough to uh, put a lot of premium in here in this market. Um, every trade guest coming up on Friday's report, and this is another bearish factor. We're dealing with a lot of bearishness, it seems like, and not much positive news. Trade guess for corn stocks is 2.125 billion bushels above last year's number. And how do USDA gets to this number? Well, they've got to go back to their outlook for them, and they really cannot change yield numbers at this time. So they're using 176, and they're using the corn acres um, without any prevent plant. That'll come in June in the acreage report. So you've got to, they, they do basically have to go with what they have in the, in the February outlook number. And when you do that, you come up with 2.1 billion bushel uh, carryover to start this marketing year, which would be the second highest in the last 29 years. Soybean stocks estimated 936 million up from last year and uh, all time largest on record. Wheat stocks expect to be 1.057 billion with all wheat production, the first estimate of the year at 1.9 billion bushel above last year's number. And that may be conservative based off of some of these crop condition ratings that we've seen that are. Um, at sharply higher numbers compared to year ago levels. Um, on Friday morning, that's tomorrow morning, 7.15 a.m. Central Time, I'll be on TD Ameritrade Network talking about the report. I'll be live via Skype from my office uh, discussing what we can expect in Friday's reports as there will be a lot of uh, things to uh, talk about and uh, take note of. Um, cash cattle trade looks like it's pretty much wrapped up for the week. We'll have steer weights coming out today. Export sales for beef were good. Pork was okay. Cash cattle trade at one twenty two to three dollars lower than the prior week. And uh, on a dress basis, we're looking at one ninety three to one ninety six. That's three to seven dollars below last week's trade. So some disappointing cash numbers. The futures um, been pretty much in a free fall. We thought we started to see some consolidation in the uh, cattle market, but uh, then we gave way to more selling late in the day yesterday as funds continue to uh, be sellers. With the stock market down, you're likely to see additional weakness at some point during the trading session today. Right now, hogs are called sharply higher. Um, we'll see if we can sustain that at the 8.30 opening. Have a great day, everyone. Good luck and a good trading. 
Brian Hoops with Midwest Market Solutions. Uh, wishing you a great day. Talk to you soon.